Fender Stratocaster is the quintessential electric guitar, a worldwide archetype, the basic form that leaps to mind at the very mention of the phrase electric guitar, even amongst those who don't play. Maybe that's because it was so well designed to start with that it is largely unchanged since its 60 year ago inception, allowing it to become an ingrained form in the minds of successive generations. The Fender Stratocaster, colloquially known as the Strat, is a model of electric guitar designed from 1952 into 1954 by Leo Fender, Bill Carson, George Fullerton and Freddie Travares. The Fender Musical Instruments Corporation has continuously manufactured the Stratocaster from 1954 to present. The Stratocaster has had to earn its place and it happened neither easily nor overnight. It took quite a while in fact because if it's true that the guitar was so well designed from the start that it basically remained the same for six decades, it's also true that it was so well designed that it was ahead of its time by at least a decade. Indeed, for about the first 10 years or so, the Stratocaster patiently bided its time while the world caught up with it. The archetypal Stratocaster is a solid body electric guitar with a contoured, asymmetric, double cutaway body with an extended upper horn. The body is usually made from alder or ash and the neck of maple. It has a distinctive headstock with six tuning pegs mounted in line along the single side. Most Stratocasters have three single coil pickups, a pickup selector switch, one volume control and two tone controls. The Strat has always been a byword for rugged dependability and versatility, backed up by an almost unchanged design since its inception in 1954. The Stratocaster was the first Fender guitar to feature three pickups and a spring tensioned vibrato system, as well as being the first Fender with a contoured body. The Stratocaster's sleek contoured body shape differed from the flat, square edge design of the Telecaster. The Stratocaster's double cutaway allowed for players to easily access high positions on the neck. The first model offered for sale was the 1954 Strat. The design featured a solid, deeply contoured ash body, a 21 fret, one piece maple neck with black dot inlays. The colour was originally a two colour, dark brown to golden yellow sunburst pattern, although custom coloured guitars were produced. After 1965, the Fender Company, under the control of CBS Instruments, saw a drop in sales of the Fender Stratocaster to customers. The Fender Jaguar had been promoted as the flagship guitar in the Fender line. As such, the resurgence of the Fender Stratocaster is credited to the arrival of Jimi Hendrix in the late 1960s. His remarkable playing style and musical prowess led to a dramatic increase in sales and thrust the Stratocaster into musical history as the premier electric guitar. As they followed Jimi Hendrix's popularity on TV, CBS asked for the word Stratocaster on the headstock to be made larger so that people could read the model name easily. During the years 1954 to 1979, nearly a quarter of those Strats manufactured were in the single year of 1979. These increased 1970s production levels saw a gradual departure from the high quality instruments in the 1960s and the introduction of Japanese manufacturers into the market. Original Stratocasters were manufactured with five vibrato springs attached to the milled inertia block and anchored to the back of the body. The novel mechanism pivots on a fulcrum design with a six screw bridge plate allowing the whole setup to float while transferring the strings energy directly into the body. While the floating bridge has unique advantages for wavering pitch upwards, the functionality of the floating bridge has widely been accepted, yet disputed by some musicians. Leo Fender insisted it leave the factory floating, while designer Freddy Travares preferred it tightened flush for full bridge plate and body contact resonance. As the bridge floats, the instrument has a tendency to go out of tune during double stop string bends. Many Stratocaster players opt to tighten the springs so that the bridge is firmly anchored against the guitar body. In this configuration, the vibrato arm can still be used to slacken the strings and therefore lower the pitch, but it cannot be used to raise the pitch, a configuration sometimes referred to as dive only. Some players such as Eric Clapton and Ronnie Wood feel that the floating bridge has an excessive propensity to G-tune guitars. These guitarists inhibit the bridge movement with a chunk of wood wedged between the bridge block and the inside cutout of the tremolo cavity and increasing the tension of the tremolo springs. These procedures lock the bridge in a fixed position. Some Stratocasters have a fixed bridge in the place of the vibrato assembly. These are colloquially called hardtails. There is a considerable debate about the effects on the tone sustained the material used in the vibrato system's inertia bar 
and many aftermarket versions are available. Perhaps the genius design and simplicity of the Strat has played a part in its continuous success through to the present day, despite very little change. The Strat is one of the most customizable guitars on the market with a huge aftermarket part selection that most people can install with relative ease from the comfort of their own home. The Stratocaster features three single coil pickups, with the output originally selected by a three-way switch. Guitarists soon discovered that by positioning the switch in between the first and second position, both the bridge and middle pickups could be selected, and similarly, the middle and neck pickups could be selected between the second and third positions. When two pickups are selected simultaneously, they are wired in parallel, which leads to a slight drop in output, and slightly more current is allowed to pass to the ground. However, in newer guitars, since the middle pickup is almost always wired in reverse, and with its magnets having opposite polarity, this configuration creates a humbucking pair, which significantly reduces hum. Fender introduced a five-way selector in 1977, making such pickup combinations more stable. The tone of the bridge and middle pickups in parallel, popularised by players such as Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, David Gilmour, Rory Gallagher, Mark Knopfler, Bob Dylan, Eric Johnson, Nile Rogers, Scott Thurston, Ronnie Wood, John Mayer, Ed King, Eric Clapton and Robert Cray can be obtained by using the pickup selector switch in position 2. Similarly, the middle and neck pickups can be used in parallel with position 4. The 5-way pickup selector switch is standard in Strats of today, but it was the birth child of electronic trickery discovered by its players. In fact, many of the small changes that have occurred since the Strats origins have been as a result of the nuances and tricks discovered by guitarists. During the CBS era, particularly in the 1970s, the perceived quality of Fender instruments fell. During this time, vintage instruments from the pre-CBS era became popular. When the Fender company was bought from CBS by a group of investors and employees headed by Bill Schultz in 1985, manufacturing resumed its former high quality and Fender was able to regain market share and brand reputation. Dan Smith, with the help of John Page, proceeded to work on a reissue of most popular guitars of Leo Fender's era. They decided to manufacture two vintage reissue Stratocaster models, the one-piece Maple Neck 1957 model and a Rosewood Fretboard 1962 model, along with the Maple Neck 1952 Telecaster as well. As well as these vintage reissues, Fender launched an updated model in 1987, the American Standard Stratocaster. This was tailored to the demands of modern players, notably having flatter fingerboard, thinner neck profile and improved tremolo system. This model line has been continuously improved and remained in production until late 2016. The model line received upgrades in 2000 when it was renamed the American Series Stratocaster and again in 2008 when the American Standard name was restored. In 2017, the American Standard Stratocaster was replaced by the American Professional Stratocaster with narrow frets, a fatter deep C neck profile and V-mod pickups. Various other modern American-made Stratocasters have been produced. As of present day, these include the more affordable American Performer Stratocaster, successors to the higher one and American Special Strat, and the more expensive American Ultra Strat. Fender has also manufactured guitars in East Asia, notably Japan and in Mexico where the affordable Player Series guitars are built. Many less expensive guitars are today, including Fender's budget alternative Squire lineup, and many others adopt the Stratocaster look, feel, and build. So, whoever you are, professional musician, complete novice, or even not a musician at all, it's likely you will play a Stratocaster in your life if you haven't already. The Strat has been a staple of music since its very inception, and it's an icon of music. It will surely be considered one of the greatest musical instruments of all time.